But the brown spot on the stack tells you how high the river had been at, it, at its highest crest. Richard Bullock, who heads up the emergency management in Nemaha County, says at a level of 42 feet, the Missouri River at Brownville set an all-time record crest the second week of June. Nearly two months later... It uh, just keeps dumping, and we don't have, the river does not have a chance to go down. We've been in this uh, about 90 days now, as we've been in this condition. That's because the river first went over its banks in May due to locally heavy rain. In the months that followed, the heavy rain kept falling upstream, first along the Elkhorn River, then in South Dakota. It did go down to about um, two feet over flood stage, and we were very encouraged, and then, boom, it came up again. Jane Smith owns the River Inn along with her husband. It's an absolutely beautiful so-called flotel anchored to the Missouri Riverbed. And the everlasting flood has forced a few changes. It's mainly um, that we have to get people here who want to stay, and so we use the Spirit of Brownville excursion boat kind of like a ferry. I came to this floating villa by tractor. I left by fishing boat. Guests will arrive in a more fashionable condition, but flood or no flood, you don't come to the river looking for the airport Hilton. We let them know this is what we have to do. You have to board the Spirit and you ride down and then you get on the river end where you'll stay all night. And they think it's great fun. So they've been really wonderful about it. The Missouri River has once again begun to fall. Hopefully this time it stays that way. In Brownville, Darby Bybee, Channel 8, Eyewitness News.